Guten Abend. I welcome you all in German language series lecture number 21. Ein und Zwanzig. Today we will cover telling time in German. Side of Deutsch, Eisalien, presented by myself. So let's start, begin our journey to find out how to tell time in German. Okay. Let's start. Fine. So. The very first point is uh, today that we are going to uh, use this uh, with a different ways how to tell time in German. By the way, time in German means sight. Sight. Besides the numbers, you also need to know these words. This is very important slide. So first is it is. As ist. It is. As ist. O'clock. Uha. O'clock. Uha. Quarter. Fitel. Quarter, fetal, half, 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 past, after, knock, knock, two, before, four, four, what time is it? We spite, we spite is as, we spite is as. So now looking for some German words uh, to try to practice it out. As ist, uha, fetal. Half, knock, four, be spite is s, be spite is s. So this is where you just try to use these words when you are just telling time to someone. Now move to the next slide. Example number one. When we have a full R, we put the word uha at the end. So suppose we have it's one o'clock. So s is ein uha. S is ein uha. It's one o'clock. S is ein uha. Next example that suppose we have it's ten o'clock. S is sen uha. S is sen uha. S is sen uha. So with some random base. S is ein uha. S is sen uha. So this is the way when we have a full or we put the word uha. Uh at the end. Okay, move to the next slide. Example number two. To tell the exact time you say the or and uh, then the minutes, but make sure you put the word uh this time between the or and the minutes when you speak it. So let's we have this example 216 uh. So how to speak in German? S is swai uh check same. S is swai uh. So firstly we have this swai and then we have uha in between or and minutes. So this is the rule that, that we have to put this time between the or and the minutes when you speak it. So S is swai. Swai stands for 2. Uha. Then 16 as we already covered these numbers in a previous video. So you may watch that video also. So we write 16 as check same check same it's 216 okay next uh, example that 325 uha so we write it as s is dry so first or then uha and then 25 is fun un swan sish fun un swan sish so it's for the for 25 it's 325 next is 7 34 uha so s is even uha fear un dry sis 30 speak like dry sis so in german 34 is 4 plus 30 as i explained in previous session so it speaks like s is even uha fear un dry sis so just practice its own 545 uha it means s is fun uha Fünf und vier sich. Es ist fünf uh, fünf und vier sich. So this is the that uh, whenever we have to tell or and minutes both, we have to remember that uh in between ors and minutes. And then we speak like this by adding as it, as is, it's, it's, it's. So this is the way you practice it. Now move to the next example. This is the another way of telling the time is to use the word knock. Knock. This time 
you say the minute first. So suppose we have uh, 10 pi uha. So we write it as s is fünf nach sen. S is fünf nach sen. It's 5 past 10. So it's 5 past 10. S is fünf nach sen. So here this 5 minutes coming first, then neck and then sen. So it's a past. It's a past. So suppose 10 is there. So sen comes first, then followed by neck and then swalf. 12 is stands for swalf. So it's 10 past 12. It uh, speaks like S is sen, not swalf. S is sen, not swalf. Like this. Now come to the next four two hours. So it uh, speaks like it's 2 past 4. So S is swai. S is swai, not fear. So two minutes comes first, then next, then fear. In previous slide, you see that uha is come between that uh, hours and minutes. So first we take hours and then we take minutes. But here when we use nak, so first we take minute and then we take hours. So this is that uh, thing and as a rule we have to remember how different we are going to tell the time to someone or we watch time and write time anywhere. So this is very important that we are using here. Now next example is if we have less than 30 minutes to the next door, we can use the word for V O R for suppose 250 uha. So it's like uh, it's 10 to before 3. So as it's sent for dry. As it's sent for dry. So dry means 3 and before. Before 10. So send means 10. So it's 10 before 3. So we speak like as it's sent for dry. Now 340. So it's 20 uh, before 4. So we have to just write it as as it's swansish. Four, four, fear. So fear means four, and swansish means twenty. So twenty before four, we speak like as it's swansish for fear. As it's swansish for fear. So this is the way that we use four. Now the next example here we have to uh, just combine this. You can divide an R like uh, pi into quarters. That fifteen into four because sixty minutes in R. So 15 into 4, so it's a quarters, and use the verse fear tell for, fear tell knock. So 4 stands for before, and knock stands for after, or past. So here we have this example, 845 uha. So we write it as, S is fear tell for 9. S is fear tell for 9. So here it's a quarter to 9, because 15 minutes left uh, to 9. So it's before 15, 15 be minutes before 9. So we write it, it's a, it's a quarter to 9. So we write in German as, S is fear tell for 9. Because 15 uh, that uh, to 9, so fear tell, fear tell. That's where you use that because you divide that whole three, that 360 or 60 minutes into four quarters and each quarter having 15 minutes. So that each section having that uh, 15 minutes so this is the way 615 uha so s is fear tell not checks s is fear tell not chess so it's a quarter past six so 15 minutes so here we are using knock because of past and if we have to use before then we are using uh, that four so into quarters that four and each of them having that 15 minutes to use this for for is using for before and knock is using for past along with the fear tell fear tell so you practice it at home and you just try to speak these first now example number six in german it's a little tricky when we have 30 minutes left to the next door and you you use the word half but uh, half but then you add the next door so be careful in this point that uh, suppose we have 8 30 uha so it's half past eight so as is half nine as is half nine so in the sense it's half way to nine but uh, suppose we have 9 30 uha so it's half past nine so as is half sin so it means half uh, it is uh, you can say it's a half way to nine it's a half way it's a half past nine so as is half sin as is half sin 
it's half past eight so you write s is half nine so you can say half is using here uh, one is for that uh, it's 30 minutes left and one is for it's uh, past 30 minutes with uh, that after nine so both of these things are very very carefully you have to remember and it's a little tricky one that when we have 30 minutes left in the next door you use the word half but then you add uh, the next door as well so 8.30 uha as is half 9 and 9.30 uha as is half set so this is the way uh, you may use that and practice it so danka z if you like these uh, videos please subscribe my channel and practice at home and press the bell icon so that you may get notification whenever I upload new videos and thank you very much being with me. Danke Sie, guten Nacht. Thanks.